welcome back and welcome to my top 10 YA books that I've read this year. I had just as much trouble putting together 10 YA books that I've read this year as I had putting together just 10 books full stop that I've read this year. And when I come on to do my non-fiction video that I'm going to make next, uh, I had just as much trouble with that. I'm even thinking of adding another subcategory to that. That's how serious it is. So this is Vlogmas Day 19, Tuesday crazy. Uh, there is a different Top 10 Tuesday over on my blog. My blog is always linked below um, so you can head over there and see my uh, Top 10 books I wish Santa could bring me uh, which is on my blog today. Um, but yes, Vlogmas Day 19 is going to be Top 10 YA books I've read this year. I think I started off with about 17 on the list. I have narrowed it down to 10 because I'm ruthless like that. And I've got a couple of uh, alternates that I read by the same author this year that um, I also loved as well. So I'm going to sneak in a few extra there. So let's get on with it. Firstly, Ramona Blue by Julie Murphy. Um, I kind of, I think I mentioned in my... Um, video talking about this when I read it, uh, that I didn't realise that this was the same author as wrote Dumpling, just here. Um, and I read that this year as well, and I absolutely loved that as well, but Ramona Blue just tipped it. I just love the fact that Julie Murphy takes characters who don't have privilege and aren't rich and do actually have to work hard for what they have and writes about them, and I just, oh, I like the fact that she writes about them, uh, and I'm excited for what she's bringing out next because we have a sort of sequel to Dumpling coming out next as well, so yes. Uh, these are in no particular order, by the way. These are just 10 books, and I've just collated them in the order that I collated them. Uh, the next one is The Treatment by C.L. Taylor. Um, this is uh, her first YA thriller, but it is just as good as her adult thrillers, and I really don't think that it felt different from her adult thrillers because I'm so such a big fan of her adult thrillers I didn't feel like oh this has been you know changed to make it YA it's definitely got YA characters in it which is the difference it makes but I didn't feel like you know if you are a fan of CL Taylor's thrillers uh, then do not be put off by the fact that this is YA. It's still just as good and still just as thrillery. Seriously, you will hold your breath. Um, and then I have one where I don't have the actual book that I've put on the list. Um, but I have another book by this author who I also read this year and I also really love this book. So the next one on my list is Tell Me Three Things by Julie Buxbaum. But the book that I have is What To Say Next by Julie Buxbaum. Um, and I read these pretty much back to back. I was lucky enough that I was reading What To uh, Tell Me Three Things and I had, oh sorry, I've got hair in my eye. I had this on hold from the library and literally as soon as I finished Tell Me Three Things this came available so I was able to go and pick this up from the library. I loved both of these books. Tell Me Three Things just pips this one to the post in terms of how much I love it because it's so romantic um, but this is also very relatable and very realistic um, and I really like that as you'll know from my uh, talking about Romana Blue the fact that you know relatable realistic characters really do uh, hold up well in my uh, reading preferences. Uh, then the next book I loved so much I made a whole video about it uh, which is, can be said for quite a few of these books uh, and that is Windfall by Jennifer E. Smith. Again I've read a few Jennifer E. Smith books this year but <coughs> Windfall just wins. Um, because I just loved it so much. I've got this one out the library just you know to have a, a copy to show you in this video and I'm like should I reread it? Should I read it again? I might do. Don't know. But I made a whole video about this one, so I will link it below, above, everywhere, both. It will be linked. Have a look in the description box. It will definitely be there. It may also be above. Let's see. Um, but yeah, if you want to know more about that one, watch the video. Uh, and then another book that I made a whole video about, which, again, if you want to know more about it, I'm not going to tell you a lot here. It's just amazing and you should read it. But if you want to know about it, read the video. Watch the video. <laughs> read the video. Uh, it'll be linked below or linked above. Uh, and that is Lobsters by Tom Ellen and Lucy Iverson. Um, and this one uh, was called 
a totally awkward love story in the US. So if you are looking for it, if you're watching the US and you're looking for it, it's called Totally Awkward Love Story and it's got two fingers crossed like this and they've got faces on them and it's pink um, and then this is the UK cover. I compared the two in my very first UK versus US cover uh, so I'll link that below as well. Why not? Go for it. Uh, then next um, I talked about this doing um, in my seven mini reviews. I think it was the first sort of collated seven book reviews thing that I did because I read this as part of a readathon and I think I reviewed all the books that I read in that readathon in that video so I will link that below uh, and that is How to Make Out by uh, Brianna Shrum and uh, my, this is the library copy and you can see she is a local author I have met her and she signed the book the version of the book that I bought when I met her I haven't read that book yet and I keep putting on my TBR and then I keep not reading it and so I've just not put it on a TBR recently in the hope that maybe now I'm back in Denver I will read it there you go uh, and then another one I made a whole video about, so I will link it for you. I don't want to tell you loads about this one. Um, I've also compared the UK and US covers of this one um, in my most recent video. So you can look at that to see the US cover if you're looking for this one in the US. It's called the same thing in the US, but it's got a different cover, very different cover. Um, but I did do a whole video talking about this one, so go away and watch that one and then read it because it is The Art of Being Normal by Lisa Williamson. I think everybody that read this book just absolutely loved it it absolutely blew me away um it was so much more than i was expecting it to be and i made a whole video talking about it so go and watch that and um then another one which i don't have here because uh it's on high demand in the library uh so i couldn't get another one um and that is the hate you give by angie thomas i made a whole video talking about this one so i will just link that and you can go away and watch that one then the next one i want to talk about is one that i read really early on in the year um and i read it before her debut novel um i read her debut novel after reading this one because i'd heard so many good things about this one and that is the sun is also a star by Nick Nicola Yoon. Um, this one takes place over the course of just one day um, and I think that's why it's so intense. I literally read this in an afternoon. I sat down and just started reading it and couldn't put it down. I mean it's not a thin book. It's, it's a sizable book. This may be the version that I actually read. Um, but yeah you can see the chapters are quite short but the amazing thing about this one is that um, it has not just um, you know, prose in it, but it also has like notes and um, play scripts and all those kind of different things that I can't find right now that make a book just, you know, exciting as well. Come on, there's another one in here. Time and distance. There we go. Not just stuff about the two characters, Daniel and Natasha. Fabulous read, very quick read, very pacey read. Definitely recommend this one. And then finally, um, another book, not finally, another book that I don't have because it was in high demand in the library because there is a movie that's been made of this book and um, it's out in March and I'm very excited about that and that is Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. I read this in January as well uh, and it was one of those that was like, oh, it's such a cute love story like it's about so much more than just that love story but the love story itself and the kind of like romance and the will they won't they aspect of it was just oh spot on for a romance lover it was absolutely fantastic as i say so many more aspects to it and that will definitely all be explored in the film as well but Sam vs. Homo sapiens agenda firmly on the list um and then another one where i have the other book that I read by these authors and it's um this is the sequel which I also read like together with the other book um and I'm strongly considering rereading this book at the start of next year because I read this book I think this was the first one I finished this year first one I finished this year and it still stuck with me um and that is Dash and Lily's Book of Dares and the sequel is The Twelve Days of Dash and Lily which I mean you can see it's a very quick read but this one is Christmassy, so it's appropriate to show it at this time of year. And Dash and Lily's Book of Dares, the US cover anyway, not the UK cover, uh, has snow on it as well. And, you know, basically all you need to know is that it's set in New York and predominantly takes place in the Strand bookstore. Like, there's so much of it takes place in the Strand bookstore. So what's not to love about that? As I say... 
they're very short reads so definitely worth the while um, and there is my top 10 young adult books of 2017 if you've noticed very carefully there's more than 10 there but only just more than 10 I think there's like 11 with some extra ones like this the sequel and I mentioned Dumpling and I mentioned the other Julie Booksbound book but forgive me it's fine I will link those other videos below for you um yes if you enjoyed this give it a thumbs up as always uh, and make sure you have hit that subscribe button so that tomorrow's video which will be my top 10 non-fiction reads because I'm going to film that now because you know that's when it's going to be um will land straight in your subscription feed okay thank you so much for watching I will see you tomorrow with my top 10 non-fiction reads of 2017 bye